Oh, good afternoon. It's 2.09 p.m. Uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time and you're with uh, FM John Curtis. And uh, I might start off at chess.com with analysing just the last three minute game I played. And then I'll play some live games in chess.com. But first we'll go to the analysis room and just uh, I go through a game steadily, see what the ideas are for both players and, uh, and see how it all panned out, including the... Uh, uh, nice checkmate at the end. Okay, so off we go to the chess.com analysis room. Here we are, we're playing Valera 238, uh, 2073 rating, and he's from Russia. Or he or she from, is from Russia. Now, uh, let's have a look now. Uh, uh, so Valera plays knight f3, d5. Uh, there's a little book move there, G6, G3. The idea of fear and shadowing the bishop along the long diagonal, exerting pressure on the centre. Uh, C6, uh, just countering that pressure that's uh, intended with bishop uh, G, G2. Right, White follows up with his idea. Um, and Black, Black's bishop, because Black has this bishop, uh, where the pawns are on black squares, the black squared bishop is, is uh, sorry, the, the pawns are on white squares, so the black squared bishop hasn't got much manoeuvrability uh, with the pawns being on the same square it occupies. So the whole idea is, in some variations, we just get rid of that bishop and uh, just develop our, our pieces. Uh, the idea behind that is, that uh, basically when you've got a, a, a bishop, um, you want to be able to move flu, 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 fluently um, between the pawn structure and the uh, white squared bishop for black does not. Okay, black white castles. White recognises that black's not in any hurry to um, take the knight, so white doesn't bother chasing it. Weakening his king. Uh, white plays d3. Idea is to play e4 and uh, contest the center. Knight f6. It seems to be a, some sort of book move. Uh, knight b5 to d2. This is a book move as well. Um, e6. Uh, so we're just supporting our pawn phalanx. Let's see, let's see, it's like a little pyramid between f7, e6 d5, c6, and b7. It's actually the shape of a pyramid. It's called a pawn phalanx. All right, so uh, white plays c4 to attack the pawn structure, and uh, it, it'd be wrong to, to, to capture this pawn. So uh, we'll just see what black does. He plays bishop c5 and gets a little thumbs up. It did say that bishop d6 was the best move. But I was actually in trying to encourage black to, uh, uh, I, I couldn't see any way of uh, attacking, sorry, I was uh, trying to encourage white. I couldn't see any way of uh, attacking the white position because it was so solid. So I thought, well, if I play bishop c5, I might encourage a3 and b5 to hit my bishop and maybe cause a few little black squared weaknesses that I might be able to um, uh, 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 jump around on later on in the game. So I was actually baiting him. Uh, and he, he, he plays a3, and he gets the thumbs up as an excellent move. And the book, does, uh, the, uh, the book or the computer analysis engine says that d4 is best. So I castle. Uh, the computer does say that I should play a5. It's the best move, but it says my castling move is excellent. And now he gets a star, best move for b4. So I, I follow up with my plan, trying to encourage him to play uh, c5. And it says it's excellent, but h3 was a better move. Uh, in other words, he has the option of playing c5, so why play it? Um, uh, why, why play it? Because you can play it any time. So what, what, what the computer is saying is play h3, see what he does about uh, his bishop on the white squares, you know, con you know, controlling some 
uh, squares on the uh, on, around the uh, white king. Right, so I played bishop c7, I uh, got the star, best move. Now he plays bishop to b2. It says h3 is best. So the, the, the engine is saying that it is best to uh, encourage black to trade off that uh, uh, white squared black bishop. Okay, rook to e8. My idea is to just play e5. I can't see any other move, any go forward other move than that. And it says it's an excellent move. Rook e8. Said I could have played e5 straight away without playing e8, but I was happy to do this. Um, e4 it gets a nice big star for playing that move. Now, a computer says here that I should be playing knight e5 instead of putting the pawn on that square. I can see why now, um, but but I did have a preference for, for, for this line. Now, h3, that's the best move. Been the best move for a while, so I took the uh, the the knight, and the computer says that's excellent. But going back was actually better. But I'm I'm personally very happy to have just taken the knight. Bishop takes f3, gets a star, best move. So both players are playing a reasonably decent standard of chess. No um, outright blunders or anything, and, and the time is ticking by. We have only used about forty seconds each. Um, knight c5, uh, c4, that seems to be a good square. So the computer says it's good. It says queen c2 is best. I played b, b, b5 because I want to uh, just chase that knight out of there. He took the pawn and the star is given as the best move. I recaptured uh, on b6 and again best move. Bishop b, bishop g2 now. Apparently rook c1 was best. Um, I pushed the pawn on to dislodge his knight on c4. I don't like him occupying um, outposts not close to my side of the board. Besides that, his knight on c4 was uh, indirectly attacking my F, my pawn on e5. And if he dislodges, dislodges, it, dislodges it, my um, pawn on d4, on his d4, might become weak after he plays f4, which is what he's planning to do. Okay, so he moves back, and now I play c5. This is my plan. You might remember I played bishop to, um, to c5 earlier on in the opening, and I said, well, I was trying to bait him to push his pawns forward, and so eventually I can get some hopping around moves. And that's exactly what happened. So my plan has come to fruition. I've done a full circle. And now I've played the move that I intended way back when I played bishop c5 on move um, 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 bishop c5 on move 7. Right, so we're now uh, on move uh, 18. So that was uh, uh, 11 moves ago I planned, planned this. But I didn't expect him to play into my hands. Uh, knight takes uh, c5. It says um, it's a stars given. And the whole idea is I want to play knight to a4 and, and get an outpost for my knight and, and improve the position of my pieces. So he plays rook to uh, uh, c1 and now I play knight to, c to a4. And that was what I planned to do all along, but dummy here, that's me, I, I overlooked the fact that I was threatening a pawn. So knight takes d3 would have just busted him wide open. No, I missed it. So I go through and make do the hard yards. So bishop to a, uh, a1. It does say rook c2 is the better move. And now I play bishop d6, threatening that a pawn. And it gives me a star for that as best move. He gets best move with queen to b3 attacking my b-pawn. And I play queen to e7. And I get the old question mark exclamation mark. It says it's in, an inaccuracy and that um, uh, rook to a5 is best, just holding the pawn. So just where the arrow is, just rook to a5 there, holding the pawn was the best move. Okay, 
Here he comes. He's uh, playing his e5, and he, I'm looking at him playing knight to f3, and I'm not happy about it at all because I don't want this uh, pawn structure, central pawn structure, raining down on me. So what do I play? He gets a question mark for that. It says queen takes pawn was better. And uh, we'll just see what happens. I play knight to d7. My idea is just to uh, bring another knight up, take the, the queen and just sort of chase it around a little bit. Um, right, so it's, in, it's a mistake it said. Knight c3 was the best move. Right. So he plays pawn takes pawn. And it says it's an excellent move. But it did say knight f3 was better. So now I recapture with my knight and I get a star as best move. So I'm back on to playing good moves again according to the computer. He played bishop takes pawn and he gets a star for that. So um, I play bishop c5. Now the whole idea is I've got to fight here. I've got to... Um, uh, battle for the squares because otherwise I'll be overrun he, and uh, he's already got an extra pawn or two and uh, it's up to me to um, get as much compensation as I can and to attack back. If I just play a few ordinary moves he's going to run right over the top of me. So hence I play bishop c5. And the computer says, the engine says bishop c5 is best. So bishop takes bishop Knight takes bishop because you see I've now got my two knights on that d3 pawn. And you'll remember ages ago when I played knight to a4 and the computer told me I should play knight takes d3. Well, it took me a long time to get there. Um, but now I can finally capture that pawn on d3. He played queen takes pawn. It's the best move. And I played knight takes pawn. So as you can see, I finally got there. And the beautiful thing about this position, when you analyse it, is that um, the um, the knights effectively um, control the e5 square and, and uh, work together to do so. And the white square bishop on g2 is somehow flawed because uh, it hasn't got its diagonal or anything and it's just holding the e-pawn um, and just... It's got uh, it's doing a bit of a modicum of defence work for um, the opponent, but that's about all. So rook b1, best move. So with Dylan Valera from Russia is playing really well, playing good chess. So I played best move with rook to a3. And I wasn't using an engine during the game. I can assure you, I, I just uh, felt my way through it, and I just happened to find a lot of the best moves. And you know that I wasn't using an engine because you can see that on occasions I played dubious moves and the computer pulled me up on it or second best route moves or third rate best moves. So now um, one of the things, problems I had was that though the knights work well together, um, they don't... Um, uh, that they interfere with each other because they're both occupying squares that each other knight wants to move to because they're protecting each other. So I'm so happy here that he played this blunder. He should have played rook to b3, right? But when he plays this blunder, I'm so happy to be able to take that knight off. And then when his queen takes, I can play knight to e5. And now there's no way he can save that pawn on g3. Queen to d5, that's the best move in the position. And now I play rook, take, rook to, rook to uh, d3. I get a star for that. He actually wanted to play rook on the b file to b7, uh, protected by his queen. But this way, I've actually attacked his queen first. Now, um, he could uh, play rook, rook its queen. Um, I don't know what I'd do. If I, uh, I suppose I could uh, play rook takes. I might have to play rook takes queen. We'll just see what happens. Not sure what would happen if you play rook b seven. Uh, 
Oh, computer did say uh, Rook B7 was the best move. So that's what I'm saying. I didn't know what to do about it. Okay. So I played Rook G6 in this position when he moved away. Uh, admittedly, we've only got a minute. He's only got a minute 35 on his clock. So we can't expect him to find the best move every move. He, uh, he's not a grandmaster. He's rated 2073. And I think he's done very well so far in this position. So he plays king h2. It says rook to d1 is best. Rook on the b file to d1 is best. And now I played rook back to g6. It says rook d3 is best, where I'd come from. Um, okay, so he played rook to f5. Uh, he uh, wants to play rook takes knight. I recapture the queen with check. He takes the queen off. And if my rook recaptures, it's rook to b8 check and mate will follow. So he's threatening to take my knight, right? That's, that's a real threat. So I play rook e6 to parry that threat. I've, I've now overprotected my knight on e5, which is a powerhouse. I don't want to uh, uh, give him any, uh, uh, any uh, means to overtake my position. It says he should have played queen to the seventh with the idea of changing queens because uh, he wanted to get to an end game, according to the engine. I played queen to c7. Now it says g6 was a better move. But I'm, it's, well, he's short of time. I'm getting shorter of time. And so I thought, well, I'll try for a cheap shot. <laughs> and uh, you'll see it come to pass. He played queen to d5, double question mark. And he, he's played really well up to this point, but he's missed the point, purpose of my queen to c7. And that is knight to f3, double check. And as you can see, the king has only got one square to go to. Can't play king to g1 because of uh, the knight covering that square. So the only move it can make is king is the move he played as the only move and then queen to h2 checkmate end of game so thank you for watching that we'll now go and play some live games um, on uh, live chess on chess.com and uh, we'll hit the old play button and see if we can find an opponent um, 23-18, Shi'i from the United States is uh, challenging me. 23-18, uh, that's a higher rating than what I've got. So, I'm not here to just peep, uh, to beat up people that got lower ratings. Uh, we certainly like to uh, just play chess. Uh, it doesn't matter who the opponent is, whether they be 2100, 1500 or 2500. He's thinking about his move. Good players always think about their moves. But I reckon h3 was probably better than what he played. I'm going to play knight on the b file to d7. Um, in this position, uh, the natural square for the bishop is probably e2. And uh, I, I'm, I, though he's higher rated, I'm analysing, trying to criticise his game. Um, I, 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 I'm preparing e5. That's my plan. So now, if you can come up with a better plan, well, show me, right? So he attacks my uh, uh, piece, and now I follow up with the move that I want to play in the first place, which is the e5 move. He takes it. Well, in this position. Uh, I'm going to recapture with the pawn. I don't want him to uh, play f4 and queen to f3 and all that sort of stuff. I want him to be able to um, uh, d do some sort of substantial chess move. So now I'm going to play knight to d4. Threatens knight takes pawn check. And this is this is the purpose of uh, of uh, playing the way I did. Now, um, I can play c5, that protects my knight, and uh, gives him a pawn down there, but, but uh, I, I really want to um, 
do some damage. So I'm going to play king to h8. My, my plan is simple. It's f5, f4, and uh, really testing him. I'm not worried about what he's doing. I, I'm only interested in what I'm doing. So um, he's uh, on the knight. He wants to chase my knight away. Uh, let's play... Uh, I can play knight to b6. Knight b6 is a possibility. It hits his bishop. Knight b6. Now this is a, a complicated move. Um, it's, he, he's, he's playing, he's trying to defend his position at the same time. He's trying to limit the moves I make. Now, he, I don't know whether he saw this move, knight here. Or, uh, or what? Knight there? What happens there? Knight takes knight. Queen takes knight. I've got, I, I can play rook b3. My plan was to play knight here and then play rook hit, hit, hits bishop. But he's got queen c6. And, um, I'll do it anyway. Uh, I'm going for the white squares. I'm going for the white squares, and uh, uh, I'm not going to take any prisoners. Black squares. I'm going for the black squares. I don't want to take any prisoners. Now I can play uh, knight takes pawn. I'm on his uh, his knight. Uh, right. I'm on this knight over here as well. So I, I'm quite happy about all that. I got Rookit's bishop. I think he's trying to play fast now because of the clock. I've got. Uh, oh, he's, he's, has he got some move? I've got uh, knight takes knight. We've got to slow him down a little bit. Pawn bishop four. Queen checks. Queen checks, queen h5, I'll give him the rook, I don't care about the rook. If I can get queen takes pawn check in, I'll mate him. I'll give him another check. Give him another check. And queen h5. Right, now I'm going to play queen takes pawn check. Uh, now this is where, this is getting complicated now. Rook hits bishop. Rook takes pawn. I'm on his queen. He doesn't want to change queens. I'll give him a check. I'll take his queen with check. I'll hit his bishop. And uh, I'll take his bishop. I'll play knight e5. I'll take the pawn. Pawn takes pawn. I'll play uh, knight to g4. Oh, he's got a check. Rook takes rook check. And he won on time. Okay, so he won on time, but my goodness, he had some trouble there. He had 10 seconds left on his clock, though. He used his time well. Um, and his position was solid all the way through. And that's the way you play chess. So congratulations to my opponent, Shia from the United States, with the little Santa logo on his uh, board. I really hoped to beat him, but um, I couldn't quite get into his king the way I wanted to. I did try for perpetual, and uh, he didn't go for that. He, he uh, correctly uh, worked out that uh, he could um, cause some trouble another ma in another manner. Playing d5 straight away, 2146 says, I'm a loser from Indonesia. I'll recapture. I'll play back to c6. And I'm happy with this position. I get my knight in on e5. 
So I've got, if you, if you analyze this position, I've got two knights out, knight on e, e4, sorry, and knight on c6. So I, I've got um, full development here, right? So I'm going to play bishop to g, g4, pinning that knight. And now he wants to stop, he wants to stop uh, my bishop c5, and correctly so too. Um, let's see now, what can we do here? We can exchange bishops, we just exchange bishops. At least I get a piece working, don't I? Well, one, one way or the other I get a piece working. So I can now play uh, some, some other idea. Castle quickly is probably a good idea. What do they say in some games? They say, oh, just castle early and often. I've got f6 just to see what he does. I want to disrupt those two pawns. He's got a pawn on e, e5 um, down my throat. And I want to, if, if I can't capture with the rook, but I can capture with the, um, with the, uh, If I play bishop here, I'm just, I've protected my pawn and I can now recapture with the queen if he plays pawn takes f6. So now I've, I've solved that problem. Um, I've got sound of music coming into my head now. Um, how do you solve a problem like Maria? Well, now when I take that pawn off, forgive my bad singing, uh, if I take that pawn off, now I've got an isolated pawn on e5 to attack. So the um, big question is how do you attack it? That's the big question. Well, knight here attacks that pawn straight up. Just threatens knight takes pawn. Can't be bad. Right. I think it can't be bad, but I've just noticed he, ha he did have a good move. He's overlooked my move. And that is knight takes pawn. I'm going to grab that pawn. Oh, he should have played knight d4. So we'll recapture. So I'm quite happy with this position. I'll take with the queen. Um... I'll, I'll play queen to d6 with the idea of holding the bishop and holding the pawn. Um, I could play c6 and now the pawn, the d pawn's held th uh, pretty firmly, it's held. Right, he's gone there. Um, I'm gonna. I could take his his thing. I will play bishop d7. Bishop d7. So I've got no problems now. I've been able to. Uh, well, there you go. there's rook to e8. That's a good move. Just holds the the piece, and then um, I've got c5 now. I think he's overlooked that move. And now I'm threatening pawn takes knight. The whole point of this is to open up my bishop. I've got a lovely square with my bishop on c uh, on c6 when his knight moves, and also I can take his bishop with check. Have you seen that one? And queen checked. Look at the queen check, will you? And uh, now his castle's attacked, his king's attacked, and he's busted. And I'm doing all this with check, and that's checkmate, I believe. It looks like a checkmate coming. Well, that's a better game. Middle, he was, he was 2139 from Indonesia. I am a loser. Well, in that case, unfortunately, uh, his nickname was, uh, or his uh, moniker was uh, true to the point. But I'm sure he wins lots of games and lots of them, lots, wins lots of them well. I'm going to play a new three minute game now. We'll try to get some serious chess, chess under our belt for the next few minutes. Um, e4. So we've only lost one game to that 2300 player. 
develop our pieces in the centre. Get mobilised, place your pieces on, on the right squares. That um, Former Australian chess champion Freddie, Freddie Flutter has once asked, oh, how is it, Fred? How do you win all these tournaments? And that's what he said. He said, I just put my pieces on the right, try to find the right square for my pieces. Now you can see this position here. Um, my opponent is... Uh, Uh, what's my opponent doing here? Uh, oh, I can play knight up. Knight up, get the pieces working. Oh, what's this move? Now I can play knight up again. Knight up again, how's that one? That looks all right. Oh, this is very tricky. Uh, I like knight up. He's got queen to a4 check. Then I've got to play. I've got to work out what to do. Then I've got b4. If he takes that with check, I play c3. I'll do it. Now if he plays knight takes knight first, I play pawn takes. And then if he checks, I play king to f1. Then if he takes the, the knight, I think that wins. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's complicated. It's complicated. Very complicated position. So I can take that knight off. Right. Now he checks. Now I can play king to bishop one. Now how do we go? King to bishop one. Uh, Quintex pawn is Quintex pawn is almost forced. If he plays queen takes pawn, I can play knight takes knight. Oh, no, I don't play knight takes knight check. Oh, this is a tricky, tricky, tricky position. I can play queen to d2. What if he takes the pawn off? Then can he take? He cannot. Ta he can take the knight as well. And they can't, can't take the knight because of uh, the mate. Oh, this is tricky. Oh, damn. King F1. I, I'm running out of time. I can't work it out. It's, it's so complex. I can't work the rotten thing out. He took that one. Um, oh, damn. I didn't even see that he could do that. Yeah, I lost. Yeah. I'm trying to look at all the checkmates, and unfortunately there was too many checkmates. Uh, I'll play a rematch. I, I, I couldn't work it all out in the short time. I shouldn't probably play complex games like that when I haven't got the... the uh, the Hakaru type skills to work all those complexities out in fractions of a second. I'll just take it off. And bishop to d6. So we're going to bunker down against uh, Mr. FM Latan's 2200. I've got to uh, just bunker down quickly. Right. Do, 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 do. So all I'm doing is just moving quickly. I'm not doing anything brilliantly.
taken that one, take that. That was the wrong move that he played. He should just play bishop to h4. So he let me off the hook without realising it. I'll recapture. I don't think I've got any real weaknesses here. No, I've got a6. It's a pawn there I could take. Ah, uh, what's he threatening? Um, okay, for a6, yeah, it's not too bad. I'm just, I want to play b5. I'm going to watch my clock. He's got 1 minute 44 seconds, so he's thinking more than that. So I haven't got a problem with that. Uh, just play bishop there. And now I'm just threatening pawn takes pawn. Oh, the uh, d pawn. Just threatening pawn takes the d pawn. And I'm happy with that. Just, just to have any kind of threat in the position. It's a nice feeling. Nice feeling just to have a threat. Okay, he's not doing anything, so uh, I'm going to move my knight. <clears throat> going to swing it to the other side of the board. G6. Now he's attacking that thing. Well, I'm just going to uh, play bishop B7. Pawn takes. Bishop d5. Well, I'll take that off. And play rook to b1. Queen there. I'll play um, rook to e8. Rook on the f5 to e8. He's got 54 sec seconds left. I just want to uh, make things difficult for him, as difficult as possible. Um, I'll play pawn takes pawn. If he takes with the queen, oh, he's going to take that, is he? What he forgets is that I've still got the pawn on and his knight's on, that's right. So he knows that, does he? Oh, he seems to know. Okay, so we'll play knight to e5. I've got to play knight checks to try to uh, cause him some trouble and try to um, uh, show the strength of my queen. Um, I'll play uh, a queen, queen move here and just threaten his c pawn. All right, so now we'll just threaten his rook and we threaten the uh, c pawn. Okay, so now we've got no problem. We'll just play queen back here. Um, threaten his rook. He's 2200. It's no bunny. All uh, right, queen to there. Right, and queen here. Now all we're going to do is we're going to push our h pawn through and uh, we just want to um, uh, get some play on the h file. Just just something to uh, to uh, cause him some trouble, some mayhem. Uh, we'll just go up here, threaten that pawn. Uh, right, so uh, there's a check there. Queen e7. There's a check in the middle. It's always good to get checks. H5. I'm going to open him up a little bit for my queen to get some checks and stuff. Just play queen here. Hit two pawns. Uh, there's a pawn there. It protects my F pawn. King up. Checks. King takes pawn. Queen takes. King takes. I won on time. And he was 2191. And I was 2181. So. That wasn't too bad. I got out of that mess. I had a terrible game. 
Uh, I played my bullshit opening. Uh, tried to hold on to the pawn sacrifice. So a draw was probably a good result in the circumstances. Uh, I'll just play bishop b5. Hold on, this. I just want a castle. I don't want to do anything, anything fancy. Oh, I can play knight here. Knight up there. That's certainly mate. Oh, what's he doing over there? I'll play that jump over here now. And we can play c3, d5, d4, d4. We just try to just push it there. We'll just go there. It's okay. Uh, pawn takes pawn. I want a pawn, I think. I think I want a pawn. He's just trying to move fast. He's got 229, same time as me. Fide Master Latans, 2191 from Serbia. I may have played him before. But either way, he's not happy about losing that pawn on d6. And as you can see, if he recaptures the pawn on c5, he loses his bishop on d7. Okay, so now that he's not doing anything, um, we'll just take it off because that's extra. Oh, he, want, he wants to take that off. Well, that's all right. Um, I'll just play uh, bishop here. That'll do. I'll stick the bishop down his throat. He believes that if he moves his knight, then I've got bishop takes pawn check, wins the queen. He moves his knight. What about bishop takes pawn check, wins your queen, buddy? Queen takes queen. Well, that was the end of uh, Mr. Fide Master of the Tans. Is he playing on or is he going to resign? He resigns. He, he's a good guy. Uh, new three minute game. I'll just decline him because uh, we want to get as many get as many diff, different players we can play as well. Playing Arthur Arthur Fass from Mexico. Arthur Fass, probably. Uh, from Mexico, 2106. His rating went up by one point while I was looking at it. I, I need to go to Specsavers, one of the two. Oh, uh, well, I hope you all got what you want for Christmas. Um, I'd like to get a few more wins at chess.com for Christmas. So my Christmas present could be coming late. Well, he's thinking about his next move on the clock. I've played H3, stopped his born going forwards. And now I'm about to play bishop here and take his pawn off. And I think that's what he was concerned about. He just dropped a, a pawn for nothing. And now he's trying to work out, oh, how do I get compensation for that? Okay, well, I'll take with the, 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 the... If I take with the bishop, he's got knight here. I don't like that move too much. He weakens my king. Um, I'll play c4. I'm happy to try to uh, take advantage of him. And now I'll just play bishop to... Oh, what, do I, what can I play here? I'll play pawn takes pawn. I like pawn takes pawn. Because uh, he's, he's lacking his development. He went and pushed that pawn. I'll recapture. Well, that's okay. I, I know he gets a tempo on my knight. Uh, oh, he gets that one. Oh, oh, well played. Yeah, because this one, I want to hit his queen. If he'd taken with the queen simply to get the pawn back, I would have just played knight c3 and got a good game. As it is, he's got a good game. He has. He's uh, got me to play h3. He's got the g6 square. Uh, let's open it up then. I'll just open it up. I've only got one bishop, one white squared bishop. I, I want to open it up. Oh, there he goes. I'll play queen here. It's okay. I'm happy with that. I'll certainly knight d6 check. He's not doing anything about that. So what can I do? Knight g5. I can do that one. I can do knight g5. What are you going to do? Threatening knight takes bishop. 
I know you want to play bishop d5, but then I was going to play knight c3 and trick you. So that's the whole idea. I'm not letting you just uh, do what you want to do. I'm trying to make you uncomfortable, Mr. Atherfus. I'm trying to make you uncomfortable as possible. And I know you've got to check out there. I just put the knight in, so it doesn't achieve much, does it? Okay, so, oh, well played. Look at this, look at this nonsense, William. He's, he's bringing in his heavy guns. So I better castle quickly. And castle. Can, can he take the A pawn? I suppose he can. Maybe not. Maybe he can, maybe he can't. Oh, he, maybe he can. Oh, pigs in space. F4 or F3. F4. Ah, what do we what do we do here? Alright. We'll play A3. We'll stop that check. I don't like that check. He's going there. Rook to C. Ah, rook to C1. Uh -huh. uh, positions crying out for I'm gonna hold that pawn. Uh, uh, my position's weak. I'm gonna play knight to f3. I just attack my queen. Well, I'll, if I move forwards, I'm in, in shit. But what do I do? He's going to hit me with the knight. Yeah, and now I've lost everything. I'm going to resign. Well played, a surface. It all came from his little intermezzo. His little intermezzo so he could take with the C file and then take advantage of all. He, what he did was he turned the whole position around and turned his early h4 h5 into a good line rather than a bad line uh, with his little trick play so um credit words due mr atherfus played well playing e j kustub from australia oh well he's probably a next door neighbor as you know i'm from australia australia mate that's where I'm from, and um, I'll just play d5. I don't know about that. You can't play knight c6. We'll check him, get rid of my white squared bishop. I do that all the time when I just don't want to um, have a bishop where the pawns are on white squares. I'll just take that pawn off and castle. And then now I've got operation square on d5 so I can pop my knight in on d5 and just get a good game right so I don't have to put my knight in on d5 straight away I'll play bishop here first then I can take the knight and then I can go into d5 when I want to when it suits me not when it suits you buddy right so now I can play knight to d5 there you go now knight takes knight, of course, would lose a piece. And we're threatening knight to c7, which forks his uh, rook and queen, so we, so we think. Right, so he's not threatening anything, so we're just uh, playing knight here. Knight there. Just to keep him... Keep him um, Enthralled with the brilliance of my play. Oh, how corny is that, eh? Right, now now what's his next move? What I like, if you might might appreciate, what I really like is that isolated backward D pawn. I'm talking about that pawn there. That pawn there, that's what I like. I like that pawn there. Okay, so now we'll take that off. Boom. 
And one a pawn. There's another pawn there. Uh, we'll push this pawn forwards. And um, probably wasn't accurate. He's got bishop b7, but where's his knight going to go? It is a good question. Where is his knight going to go? I thought bishop b7 was a better move. Um, because I can push that pawn again and threaten his knight and open up his uh, uh, king somewhat. Now I've got rook takes pawn and I've got queen takes pawn check and knight takes pawn. I reckon queen takes pawn check is best because that way when I recapture with the knight, oh, he's playing queen there, so he's pinned. So now I'll threaten his knight first. Because he can't take my knight on f4 because he's pinned. And now he's got to move his uh, move his uh, knight. And he hasn't got many good squares because I've got my two rooks on the open file and everything. Attacking everything. Now I can play queen takes queen check. Or I can also play knight hits rook. Um, but I like, I like, I've got several moves here. Um... I've got knight to king five. This is a powerful move. It's got supreme power written all over it. It threatens his queen. He must capture. The knight on the f4 recaptures. And now I'm on the bishop and the rook and the whole house of uh, different pieces. I can now play knight takes bishop and go for an end game. I've just got a better end game with a pawn up. Or I can take another pawn. Look at that. I can grab another pawn. That's gutsy. Stealing pawns, but what does he do? That's the big question. What on earth does he do in this position? Right? Okay, so that's where he goes. Right, now let's just test him. We'll, we can test him here. We can play knight to d3. Now that just holds my knight which is advanced and stops a lot of the nonsense that he's got. I'll play h3, it stops his knight going to g4. I'll play c3, that secures my pawns on the queen side, my queen side majority. I'll play f4 and then that way I'm su supporting my knight in the middle. He's going for time. I want to play g3, king g2, get my, my king off the uh, dark squares. I'm playing c4, I just want to... Um, Increase my, 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 my structure. I'm playing b3. It takes him a while to do anything to get down to the b3 square. I'm playing knight, knight c6, attacking all his pieces down there at once. I'll take his rook with check. His knight must take. I'll knight takes bishop. I'm going to play rook here and attack his knight. I'm going to play knight takes pawn and get him offside. I'm going to play knight to d5 and try to catch him again. I'm going to take his knight with check. I'm going to I'm going to give him a check and play rook uh, rook rook uh, to d4, rook to e4. He's going to get a check. I'll play king king here. I'm, I'm protecting my pawn. Pawn up. Rematch. He won on time. He had 33 seconds extra. J Katush Tube. You devil. Sherlock Holmes, once again, my, my old opponent, Sherlock Holmes, is um, 1885 from India, and he's a good friend of mine. He always likes to come in and play, and he sees me with 2171 rating, and he wants to pinch a few rating points. Uh, he's not playing, so uh, we'll just try someone else. Uh, right, so uh, it's going to abort this game. He's, he's gone away. Silly fool. Right, so I'm just going to go um, play, play. So I'm looking for an opponent. I'm playing Hatless Garden on 2126 from the United States. The Hatless Garden known. Shout out to the Hatless Garden known. I'm just getting developed. Supporting my uh, structure there on C6, D D5. Castling, so don't have to worry about anything. 
in particular early. We just played g5. I'll play knight takes pawn. I'll play pawn takes. Right, there's some combinations I've got to be careful of this. So I'll, I'll play uh, knight takes pawn as a possibility. So I can play rook e8. Okay, so the idea is that if he plays knight takes pawn, pawn takes and pawn forwards, I don't go bishop h8, I go bishop F, f8. And so that way I, I avoid his little bits of tricky little combinations that he wants to play. By the same token, I might be able to get some sort of game myself now. I try and dislodge his knight from there, take that off, rook takes, get my pieces working, and uh, his king's in the middle, his pawn on h5 is weak, and now he hasn't got knight takes pawn, which was his intended original stuff. And now I can uh, do something else. I'll play knight to e4. And I'm just threatening knight takes bishop down at the back there. So I I'm happy with that. If I can get rid of his white squared bishop, I'm very happy with my position. Uh, right, so I did say I'd be happy with my position if I could get rid of that. So we'll take it. That was my plan. And pawn forwards. Let's attack him. So now I'm threatening uh, to open him up. Um, we'll take it. We we'll just open up the lines, the open lines. Uh, we'll check him, give him a check. If he's playing fast and he plays queen c3, he'll be dead in seconds uh, because we, we've got plans to, to, to smash him here. takes knight looks interesting. Rook to c1 looks good too. This is a very tricky game here. Rook takes knight looks pot like like a possible. Um, yeah, rook here looks good. That, that, that causes him some trouble. I'm certainly rook takes knight. Now I've got rook takes rook. He gets a check. But um, he's going to lose a lot of material here. I'm, I'm on his queen, I'm on the bishop, and I'm a rook up. And now I can just... Uh, queen takes pawn. He can't checkmate me because he's going to lose his bishop. And he's, he's bishop and queen the wrong way around. And I've got queen down, check down the back, wins his rook. So he's in, in big, big bother here. Um, I can play uh, queen checks here. Queen checks here. And queen takes bishop. And that's the end of the section. He's dead. I can even take another pawn with check, I believe. It's, it's greedy, but it wins. Um, we'll take a bishop. He can't pin my queen against my king. I've got no weaknesses, and his king's terrible, and I'm threatening queen to h5 check. So he gave up. A uh, new three-minute game. I gave Sherlock a chance to play. Now he's challenging me. But he might go away again and waste your time and mine, so I can't afford that. I'm playing Tacticus Severus, 22-28 from the uh, United States. Okay, we'll just do a, do a French defence, which I'm not very good at. 
I don't know why I say that and why I play it. Why do I play the French defense when I'm not very good at it? Okay, we'll just play knight g5 to e7. And um, take the knight off, I suppose. We'll just play knight c6. Doesn't do anything. Threatens a pawn. He goes back. I can get rid of his bishop. I'm happy with that. And castle. So I've got early development of castle, got all my pieces working, and the position screening for f6. Oh, I'll take it off. And now uh, I can improve my position with bishop d7. Just always looking to improve my position. I can improve my position with uh, bishop to e8. This is the test. This is the test. Will he test me? Oh, yes, he's testing me. So he plays knight f4. I'll play queen to d7. Got my pieces working. And the point is, he's got a, is he going to try to um, keep going with it, on with it, or what's he doing? Um, I can play knight g6 now. And now I'm threatening his knight. Um, he's threatening um, the pawn, but he's got a weak pawn now. Um, I could take that, and now I haven't got a weak pawn. And now I've got bishop g6. And I've got no weaknesses, and my bishop's now on a good square. So I'll move my bishop effectively from c8 to f5 where I can swap it off so I've, I've effectively um, rid myself of my weak um, of my weak bishop which was on c8 have a look at that square closely and you'll see you say to yourself my god you got rid of that that's not too bad not a bad effort at all okay so I've got knight here now what's he going to do but knight g6, now threatening rook takes pawn. Is he watching the move order at all? Is he watching? You've got to watch the move order, otherwise you're just going to lose material. All right, so I've managed to move my bishop from c8, get that over there, just with effective piece manoeuvring. And my knight from uh, here, which had no potential on c6, couldn't go to d4 or the other squares. Um, right, so now what do you do in a position like this? I can play rook, rook takes pawn. And I can play knight takes knight. But rook takes pawn looks good. If he plays rook takes rook, I play knight takes, don't I? That can't be bad. Okay. If he plays knight takes knight, I can play rook takes rook. So that's the idea. I've got a check down there too, which is not very nice for him. Uh, I'll take his rook. Uh, I can give him a check and take the knight. I'll take the knight first. Now, if he doesn't take the pawn, I can. Um, I should have checked him first and then... Yeah, I should have checked him with the rook first, then played pawn takes. So I made an error. I made an error. He should now play queen g2 probably. Wrong move, buddy. Rook checks. You've overlooked that move, buddy. You've overlooked it. Now I play queen hits rook. Now how do you save your queen? Certainly rook f7 right. And now who's got the attack? You or me? Let's see now. We'll play queen f5 check. Right. Now how do we continue? Well, it's a big, big problem. First things first, we cut off your queen so that we've got the control of the position to a degree. To a degree, rook there. Okay, so you want to gain control of the position over there. Well, I'm going to play b6. I'm happy with that because my plan is to open you up 
and my queen can transfer to the other side from here. You've got no threats. So you want to just do a check there and go back. Yeah, it's not a check over there. You do realize that, don't you? You've got to check here, right? That's what you've got. Okay, c5. Oh, time. 36 seconds. He had a good game, though. It was an unclear position at the end. Perhaps slight advantage to me, but I can't really say. You need an engine to work it out who was actually winning or... It doesn't matter. It's blitz chess. You just win or lose and um, that's what happens. Neil Chess, my friend Neil Chess is online. Um, I'll play E4. Play H3 first. Then I'll play E4. I just want to get my pieces working at all costs, so I don't care what happens. Just get my pieces working. Right, Bishop C2. And uh, complete my development with... Try and work it out. Queen here? No. Bishop to E3. Holds the centre pawn. I can now... Um, Try some shenanigans. Right. He wants to do something, so I'll just play. Bishop knight five. There's a knight. That's not too bad. Because he's moved away from his knights, now I can attack his knight with impunity. And um, I can now play rook to e1. So I, I think I gained a move out of that. Not much of a move, but I gained a move. Oh, oh, let's see now. Play. What can I do here? Oh, I've got bishop e3. Rook to e3. That's a move. Oh, oh my d pawn's a bit shaky. What's he doing there? Go away. So I'm on his uh, B pawn. I move my bishop back. I hit his queen. Um. Not really bright, but we'll take that one. If his rook takes, that's interesting. Play g4. Take that. Rook g3. Right, and now c4. C five. Oh, he, he, he's, he's, he's trying to connect, is he? Oh, I've got rook takes pawn. I'm going to have to play queen to. Ah, oh, it's not very good. Queen to d, queen to e two. Don't like it, but I might be forced to do, follow up with a bullshit variation. Right now he's threatening that. I've got to go knight g. Four, five. Ah, 22-35, Tacticus Severus. He's already got one game against me. He's going for his second. Play F3. I can just hold this G6 square, only just, through a bit of... Uh, He's trying to distract me on the wing, as you do. I'll get his queen off my G G3 screen. I'm happy to have a pass pawn. I'm happy here. So I'll just play knight here. Take with the queen. 
queen. Because at least I've got some play here. I've got look takes pawn to grab that. I've got a pawn. My king's very open. Oh, he's on two rooks, is he? Or we'll double them. Queen takes rook, check. Um, I've got problems here. How do I... Well, queen e1. Check, queen e2. Check there. Check there. Check there. Check there. Right, okay, he missed rook h5 is wins. Right, so it wasn't a drawn position. If you have a look closely, that move there, he had rook h5 wins. So he missed it, right? So I'm happy to get a draw in the lost position. And uh, I don't know what his time was like, but um, I, I was happy to get a draw in the lost position. I'm sure all you people out there would like be very, very happy to have a draw in the lost position too. I've got to be knight f4, uh, knight g5. And then, then I can freely play f, if I just play knight f3, I, I'd never get f4 in and get some sort of uh, attacking game. Now I can move my knight back and I've just got a nice little position getting ready to um, castles. I can just play h3. And uh, I'm happy with this position. Queen takes. Now, Queen F2 could be a problem. So I can play Queen back. Right. <clears throat> and now I can just castle. He wanted to give me a check. But that's a cheap shot. You should be looking at B5 and stuff like that. So... He doesn't understand the position, right? He doesn't understand the position. So I'm going to play um, a4 to stop b5 because the, the d5 square is mine. Uh, admittedly, he's got the e5 square, but he'll have a backward pawn. So if pawn takes pawn, bishop takes pawn, knight e5, I could just take that with advantage. Pop my knight in on d5, kick him on c3. And, um, and try to roll against this king somehow. I'll just work it out as I go along. But that's a general plan. Because I've got this outpost on d5, and that, that could come right into it. His, his, the pluses for him are that he's got control of his black squares. The minuses for him in this position are bingo. His pieces are discombobulated. Now have a look at that knight. Look at his bishop. His bishop there. If I can move this knight, and try to somehow, somehow miraculously get in there and make his bishop look stupid, he would have problems. Serious, serious problems. Now he's going over there to pinch, pinch a piece. Um, I could just play. What can I play to, to hold that? Is there a good trick there? A good trick move? He wants to do that. If I play bishop d5, and he takes the pawn, uh, I'm trying to work out a trick move. Okay, so I just play knight d5. If he takes a pawn, I can play knight takes knight check. But I don't want to play knight takes knight check. He'll take with the bishop. Um, but I'll take it. Point being, um, I really want to play bishop d5 in that position and just see where that, that leads. Okay, so now I've got a good bishop. So now all I need to do is I've got to play c3, uh, uh, ferment my bishop in his position. He can't quite play knight e7 yet and chase me away because the bishop takes pawn. So he hasn't got that little element of time on his side. So he's looking at it now. But now I'm going to play queen to h, queen to h5. The idea is I just want to play g4 and g5. Now, 
he's, he's cutting me off. I can take that. I can take that pawn. And now I've got g4. He does he trap my queen? Almost. Almost traps my queen. I play queen f f3. I'll take that rubbish. Should I take that rubbish? Should I? Should I? No, I'm going to need my king. Oh, this bishop, was that on? I hold that. <laughs> That's what happens when you move fast. Any All sorts of silly little things happen. Now, what's he doing there? Um, I just play. Bishop b3. So I don't have to do something straight away. Oh, I've got queen takes pawn. He's playing just fast moves, is he? Yeah, he's just, just playing the old fast moves trick. Okay, so he's not threatening anything. Rook takes pawn. I'm on his bishop there and uh, some variations. Bishop to f4. <clears throat> I'd like to play. Um, what's he doing there? I can I can play bishop takes knight. I don't like that one anyway. Rook there. Um, he's trying to attack me. Can you? Whoa. That was a dumb move, wasn't it? A rook check there. Look at the rook check. The bishop check. Oh, this is ridiculous. Um, I'm very helpful. I'm very helpful. U3. I must be getting tired. I'm going to try really hard. He was 23-32, his rating. So he was actually very good. So getting tired is not an excuse. I'll play, play a Sicilian. It's good enough for them. It's good enough for me. That's not a Sicilian. Oh, yes, it is. Play here. G6. Bishop G7. Knight there. K -k 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 castles. Yes. What's he doing? Does he know what he's doing? He's thinking. I'll play e6. Seeing I haven't got any square for the bishop, I can't play bishop g5. Play rook e8. Just put the rook on the semi open file. Pawn takes pawn. Now he's got to take with the pawn, see? And now I can play knight here. And uh, the old, how do you solve the problem, like Maria? Well, the, I did have a problem, and the problem was I wanted to get rid of, rid of or exchange one minor piece to free up my game so my coordination efforts would be a little bit easier. So rook takes. He's got bishop d3, I suppose. I got rook e8. So that's where it came from. But I'm threatening the, the pawn down here. Right, and now I can play knight here. If I play knight here, play, play a3, so I'll play knight to d7. And I'm happy to just try to equalize and just pop my knight back up there. And uh, I, I think I've I think I've equalized a little bit. So I'll just take that with the bishop. So I've got no weaknesses. And bishop d7. That protects all the rooks and the connect connectivity on the back rank. And now I've got queen to h5. Just threatening bishop takes pawn maybe in some variations. Some sort of rubbish chess that might work against a beginner. Uh, does it work? I don't know. I'll play here. I don't have to do anything brilliant straight away, do I? Uh, maybe I just have to wait for him to, to play rook b7 to discomb discombobulate his pieces. Here he comes. Discombobulation. Rook to b7. Take my bishop. And now bishop takes pawn. That's where I want to go anyway. So he went to all the trouble to get a uh, piece down here. Offside, disconnecting his rooks. Right? So he did all that. To do what? So I'll, I'll give him a check. I'll give him a check. I'll give him another check. Right. 
and I'll play f4. Does that work? He plays bishop g2, it's not right. It's not right, it's not right, it doesn't work. Okay, so um, how do I do anything here? Um, give me another check. Can I check him here and take that? Is that any good? No good and no good. I'll check there. No. Is there a way to win this? Uh, Uh, I think I've got a draw. He's 2200. Higher rated than me. I'm happy. Here's a three minute game. I'll take the draw. Looking for a winner, couldn't find one. So I suppose when he played rook b7, he thought, well, at least you can't beat me from that position. He had just enough pieces to hold his uh, king side together. E6, we'll swap that off. Um, Queen C7, take it. Take it? Why not? Yeah, because with his knight and bishop on there, he F4, F5 is possible. I've got, now I've got A6, stops the checks and everything. Um, Gotta be careful to move or a knight f6. I've got to get my pieces working here. Right, bishop b7. Uh, b5. Uh, what's he doing here? Bishop b7. Just get the pieces working. I'm looking at bishop takes knight, pawn takes, and queen, uh, and then stop. I have to stop him playing queen takes pawn. So now I'll just, um, I'll play rook d8. Rook d8, rook d8. Um, I've got bishop to c6. Rook d8 looks natural. Castles looks good. Uh, rook, rook c8 looks good. Now if he plays bishop takes knight, I can take with the bishop. No uh, good, so he takes there. I'll take that off. I'm happy. If he's happy, I'll take that. Oh, I can play knight here. That hits his castle. How's he going to hold his bishop? So you've got your castle attacked. You've got your bishop attacked. Have you thought about this? So before he played that move, perhaps he should have thought about his follow-up. But no, he didn't think about it. So now I'm fairly happy with this position. I can play a knight here and just go gallivanting and try to uh, pinch a pawn over there. That's not too bad, knight there. That'll keep him worried. The whole idea is just keep him worried. Oh, look at this knight here. And there goes that bishop that I didn't like. I never did like that rotten bishop down there. And it's double pawns as well. You beauty. And now I just play uh, king up, I suppose. Just get my king work active towards the end game. Oh, let's activate a rook. Let's activate my rooks. Oh, we'll take that. That's one rook's activated. <clears throat> Right, rook to the seventh. It threatens a pawn. Ah, uh, right. Now I can play bishop c6. It holds that pawn, threatens a4, a5, a4. Right, now he goes there. I don't know what that threatens. But we'll just play pawn here. Threatens pawn there. <clears throat> okay. I'll play pawn here. Play bishop there. Now yeah, that one's attacked. Boy, I'm attacking things, which is good. That means he's. Uh, oh, look at this move. Put g g4, g5. Oh, he's playing for time. I can see what he's up to. 
Uh, right, so I'll just go rook to the eighth, will I? Rook to the eighth. He's on my bishop. That's not a bad move. I'll just attack his rook. He attacks my bishop. I'll attack his rook. Keep him honest. And uh, I'll just change rooks. I'm happy to change rooks in this position, am I? I think I am. He wins a pawn, but he'll lose his B pawn. So rook takes rook, king takes rook, knight takes bishop, and bishop takes pawn, but he loses the B pawn. And I should just win then with a bit of accurate rook, rook, and, rook and pawn play. I haven't got much time. I've got 21 seconds. So he's going for it. Rook here. He's hoping that I pre-moved and um, he could uh, swindle me, but it didn't work for him. So now he's just lost the A pawn. King, king here. King there. Rook here. Rook checks. Rook here. F6. It's not checking. King here. That's all right. Rook checks. Rook here. Oh. Sneaky stuff. I had no time. Yeah, he's playing very, very, he was playing very, very sharp. I'm playing him again, Ark Suited from the United States. So he's, uh, might be a poker player. Anyway, let's see how we go. E3. That's E3. This will be the last game. Hopefully we can win on a, Go, go on a finish. Push. Knight takes. Queen takes. Push it there. I might miss mate in one. I can win quickly. Queen H4. Okay. Let's see how we go. Uh, oh, look at that bishop move. That's a good move. Castles. That can't be too bad. Look at the A file there. I might get my king working. Might be alright here. Now this is tricky. Now we've piled up on the F file and he's got some we some serious weaknesses here. Some very serious weaknesses. He knows. What about rook takes knight? King takes. Knight takes pawn check. I'll play rook here. Rook to e1. Bishop to c2 is probably more accurate. But I'm threatening rook takes knight. Let's yeah, see rook d7. Um, rook takes knight might be a playable now. Rook takes pawn. Pawn takes. I'm on the knight. Knight checks wins the queen, doesn't? No, it doesn't. 
All right then, so what do you play here, buddy? What takes form check? Takes pawn check. I can't play. It doesn't work. Um, I'm going to play king f king f. So so that way I've got that silly thing there. Can't do it. Okay. Play queen here. Whoa, you're lucky there. So okay, so um, oh, I'm, what, you're on the rook. What do I do? Not there. Uh, rook takes knight. Not there. Wow, I won that game. I'll give him a rematch because it was such a good game. Boy, I, he doesn't want it. Oh, good. Because oh, I really want to log off now because this uh, session was pretty long. And uh, I'll stop streaming now and stop recording.